Today's man of the match, Olu, congratulations on that. Always difficult to be man of the match in a game we've lost, I know. Yeah, I know. Very, very disappointing, I think, all round. Um, it's a hard one because we score early on and then the game changes and, you know, we were on top and then arguably a foul on Ben Guerin, so... Had a very, very good chance very early, didn't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. We had... It's frustrating because if if you take out, like, us not scoring and us putting those chances away, it's a completely different game. Yeah. And, you know, you don't look at... The game changes completely, that's, that's, that's the bottom line. But the, but the real bottom line is we didn't, did we? No, and no, and no. we didn't lose the game because they got a goal. We, no. we lost because we couldn't score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember the last time we didn't score a goal. Yeah, it was very... Going forward, it was very frustrating. Like, all round, it was, like, we weren't... I don't know, I can't say we weren't 100% at it, but we weren't ourselves. We did... I don't know, man. I can't even give you an answer. <laughs> what was... Um... What was said at half time to try and put things right? Because we started the second half brightly yeah. as well. Um, I just said we have to win. You know, we have to win. That that was it. That was the message. Yeah. That that's all the gaffer gave. We have to win. We have to go and win the game. And we tried, and you know, we didn't come away with a win. So, so given that we didn't, I, I assume the mood in the dressing room afterwards was a little bit down. Very very down. Very, yeah. Very down. So, but we have to pick ourselves back up. We can't dwell on it. There's six more games to go. We have to get together, band together, do whatever we have to do to get ourselves up again, ready for Saturday. Sure. Against Bath, got the game on Tuesday, training Thursday. We just have to pick ourselves back up. And we can, you can say not dwell on it, but yeah, we have to move on. That's 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 the bottom line. Absolutely right. Let's let's leave that then and talk about yourself for a little bit. Mm. You come to us from Haringey Borough, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were on loan at Haringey from Maidstone. From Maidstone, yeah. Right. So did you start the season with Maidstone? No, I started at Braintree. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I started at Braintree and then it just didn't happen for me. Um, then I got them. I got a call from Harry Wheeler when he moved to yeah. Maidstone. Um, he asked me to come. It sounded the right thing to do. Went, didn't get my real opportunity, didn't get a real run of games. I think I had like a game and a half and then didn't really get going after that. Didn't really get the opportunities that I thought yeah. I would have. Worked hard in training. Just, it just didn't work for me. So I asked to go out and get some games. Happened and then got the call from the gaffer. The gaffer asked me to come and then I'm here. Yeah. Well, did it take a little while? Because I, I believe you were sort of being lined up a couple of weeks before it actually happened. Yeah, Is yeah, that yeah. Right? It took a while. Yeah. Um, I think the gaffer just wanted to make sure it was right. Yeah. And, you know. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, where did you start your football? Um, I started at Tottenham. Right. So I was there from the age of seven to 19. Right. Then from there, I moved to Norwich oh, for right. a year. Then from Norwich, I moved to... Um, Falkirk in Scotland for three years. Really? Yeah, and I was three years? Three years. I was living in Scotland. Then I came back um, some personal reasons, having right. a baby and sure. you know, all those other things. So I had to come back, get my head right. Couldn't really get going. I had to learn non-league football. I had a couple of trials here and there. But, you know, I think right. I've started to find my feet in non-league. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, how, was, how did you find Scottish football? You must have enjoyed it for no, the three it. years. I loved it. Um, I What's the standard it. like compared to National League? Um, I think it's about the same. Yeah. About the same. Yeah. You know, if you work hard, show that you care, give a bit of heart, yeah. make tackles, score goals, play with your heart, you know, they're going to love you there. So I was there for a long time. Then just didn't click. Personal problems, I had to come right, back. Right, couldn't, right. Couldn't stay up there. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, Lastly, your Instagram's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? You, you describe yourself as a... You, remind me what it is you Creative say. Creative director. Yeah. Um, Model. Do, yeah, I do some modelling as well. Yeah, and there's something else. Um, I can't remember. No, I can't remember. Writer or something, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, yeah? something like that. And you were just telling the sponsors in the lounge there that you do some work for the BBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done some stuff for the BBC. Um, what exactly? What sort of stuff? So it, there was a, there's a street football tournament. Yeah. called um, The Last Stand right? and then I put um, the whole project together with a friend of mine called Gandeep and it's literally it's going national now so we went from wow. 
having like two, three hundred people at an event, taking it the next year, seven hundred to eight hundred people, then took the tournament to Birmingham and from Birmingham back to London. Now we've got um, the help of the BBC and the Mayor, Mayor yeah. of London, yeah, yeah. to make it a national tour. Oh, brilliant! So, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that was just. What and and what what sort of model have you done? Clothes um, stuff or so stuff with Puma. All right, stuff with Puma, Nike, Adidas. Wow. Yeah. Have you done any sort of bod body double stuff for um, I did, top players? Um, Mika Richards years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's about it. Right. And then right. a couple of, like shadowing stuff in sure. a couple of adverts. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot more to you than meets the eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Very oh, interesting. Yeah, presenter. Did some presenting oh, as well. Right. Yeah, I got flown up last year to um, Brazil to interview Neymar. Oh, yeah, and then brilliant. around the time of the World Cup, I interviewed a couple of the England players. Did he manage to stay on his feet while you interviewed him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be fair, we couldn't ask, the questions had to be processed before. Yeah, we yeah. couldn't ask any crazy questions. No, 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 no. Someone no. asked uh, about if he was going to Real Madrid and he list, literally lost it. Yeah, I'll bet. Cancelled the whole interview. Wow. Yeah, so. Now you got to play the game with those boys, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Last question. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us definitively how we properly pronounce your name? Olu. Yeah. Or Olumade. Right, and your surname? Durojay. Durojay, I thought yeah. that's what it was, but yeah, yeah. we get it officially correct. Yeah. And just tidy up why the team sheet calls you Scott. It's the middle name. I don't know. I, don't, I think it's because the way, I think my mum put it the wrong way around on my passport. Oh. So I've always just, just in case that. Like, right. You know how the league is. Like someone says anything funny, or oh, that's not how it is on your ID or whatever. Oh, else, you okay. know, so that's why okay. I just leave it like that. Right, but you are definitely Olu. Yeah, Olu. Right. Well, thanks for your time today, Olu. Congratulations on the man of the match. Let's hope we do better next Saturday. Right, thank you very much.